Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today I want to share the message I received this week. One is about the word or message that I kept seeing accidentally a few days ago. The other one is a short dream that I had last night. The first message is related to the four horsemen in the book of Revelation. On September 3rd, 2024, I watched a YouTube video from a local content creator here in my country. The title of his video is, In the end times, many Christians will die and be killed. I never watched this channel before, but the title made me wonder and I wanted to know the content. So I watched the whole video from the beginning to the end. In the video, he talked about the opening of the seals from the first to the fifth in the book of Revelation. The thing that I that caught my attention is about the fourth seal when he said that it was a yellow horse and then a question came to my mind is it a yellow horse or a pale horse because i often heard people said that the fourth seal is a pale horse but i was not really paying attention about it then i listened more detail what was exactly the yellow or pale horse represents he said it represents pestilences after that, he talked about the fifth seal, which represents persecutions. He said Christians in the tribulation will surely be killed, and those who are not killed are those who are agree or bow down to the Antichrist. So I, if we stand on our faith during that time, then we will surely die. If we still alive, it means we follow the Antichrist. The next day on September 4, 2024, when I opened YouTube to watch a video, suddenly there was a commercial break at the beginning. I used to skip the commercial break as fast as I can, but this time something caught my attention. This commercial break is not about a product, but about a song. I saw the images of apocalyptic destructions in this song, and I wonder, when I look to the end, this song is only about the opening of the fourth seal and I heard the word death was mentioned and then I was reminded to that YouTube video that I watched a day before. I wondered why I keep seeing the message about the fourth seal accidentally and then I also received a third confirmation. I couldn't remember in detail where I got this third confirmation but I remember I saw an image of a pale horse and a big word death was on it. So I feel this is surely a message from God. And then the second message that I want to share is a dream that I had this early morning just before I woke up. It's like a story in this dream but I couldn't remember the whole part of the dream. Only a short part of it that I can remember and I feel it has a meaning from God so I feel led to share it. In this dream, it's like I was in a relationship with a man, like he was my boyfriend. I don't know this man in real and I didn't see his face clearly in this dream, but I knew he is a good looking man, almost like a Korean artist. And then it's like he sent me a text message. I saw a smartphone screen and there was a writing message on the chat like this, Will you marry me? After I received his message and read it, it's like I didn't have a chance to answer it. I was so busy doing a lot of activities such as work, helping people around me, and etc. So that I couldn't answer his question quickly. I let him waiting for quite a long time because I knew he loves me. After I finished all my works, I answered him and I said, Sure, I will. I will be glad. And after that word, there were also other words, longer messages I sent him, but I couldn't remember all when I woke up. Still in this dream, I can feel that he was disappointed because I took too long to reply to the message. It was like how I could delay answering such an important message. After that, I woke up from the dream. It is not shown in this dream whether finally we get married or not. Brothers and sisters in Christ, in this dream, I represent the believers or Christians or the bride of Christ, and the man in this dream represents Jesus. In the Bible, rapture is symbolized by a wedding party. In the book of Revelation, it is called the marriage supper of the Lamb. Brothers and sisters in Christ, in the Bible, many times Jesus is called our bridegroom, and we are the bride of Christ. Like in this dream, I'm sure that is a serious question that God asks all of us today. Will you marry me? Like in this dream, many of us are still busy with our own things, such as work, family, worldly things, etc. 
and ignore Jesus' question. Many of us are not ready to get married with Jesus or to go in rapture. Many of us don't put Jesus as our first priority and don't have relationship with Him. Brothers and sisters, Jesus wants us to respond Him quickly because there is no more time left. Like what I feel in this dream, I can feel His disappointment for my late response. So through this message, I want to encourage us to answer the calling from Jesus quickly. Don't delay because we don't know when Jesus will come. It can happen at any moment. You don't want to be left behind. Jesus will come for the spotless bride who are ready and prepare themselves. We cannot go in rapture if we don't prepare and we don't wear a white garment. We must repent from sins, live in holiness and righteousness, and build a relationship with Jesus while we still have time. Time will delay no longer, a very short time left. That's all I'd like to share, brothers and sisters. I hope this message can encourage us and help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, you can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.